You know how we always say to be ready for the unexpected when it comes to your Disney World trip? Well, a big surprise for you could come in the form of a ride evacuation or emergency. They happen a lot more than you'd think, and we've got the details on what to do when they happen to you. Hey everybody, it's AJ for Disney Food Blog. Disney World rides, transportation, and attractions are reliably safe, but that doesn't mean they're infallible. Space Mountain had 64 evacuations over a two-year span from 2016 to 2018. Pirates of the Caribbean was emptied out 72 times and Frozen Ever After, one of Disney World's newest rides had 113 evacuations in that time span. And let's not forget that Skyliner incident that left guests hanging in the air for over three hours. And we found out they do have pee bags in those emergency kits. More about that later. It can be both scary and exciting when your Disney World ride suddenly jerks to a halt for an emergency or a technical issue. But we got the insider info you need to know and all those tidbits you want to know to know what to expect and what you may receive as restitution for your wasted time and or abject terror. Okay, so what basically happens when a ride breaks down in Disney World? First, the ride's gonna stop. Rides do this all the time though, usually on Omni Movers to allow someone who has mobility concerns to get on or off. So just because a ride is stopping doesn't mean it's breaking down. And sometimes, pretty often actually, You'll have to maybe watch a scene twice in Carousel of Progress. That just means that someone stood up in the theater and they have to reset everything. But sometimes it really is an issue with the ride that needs to be taken care of. That doesn't mean you'll be evacuated, but it may mean a little wait. So first the ride stops, then you'll typically hear an announcement, usually in theme about the ride itself being delayed by ghosts or something else or Br'er Fox and Br'er Bear causing a ruckus downstream or something themed like that. Then you'll likely hear a cast member come over the speaker and ask you to remain in your vehicles. They typically try to take all of the steps that they can to fix things and get things back up and running again. But if they can't fix the ride, then it may need to be evacuated. Keep in mind, you might hear these announcements several times over a long period of time. And you may be sitting there for quite some time before you're actually evacuated from the ride. We've actually seen people sitting in the sun on Seven Dwarfs Mine Train on their way up a hill for over an hour. But if your ride in Disney World is stopped, don't try to get out on your own. Stay calm, listen to the cast member instructions. This is probably the time to pull out your phone, play some digital games, catch up on your Instagram feed, send a video to DFB of what's happening. You get the idea. Keep those hands and arms inside the vehicle and wait for further instructions. Cause if you try to get out, you're just gonna set everything back. Sometimes you'll see cast members walking the track with flashlights, which is super weird, but it's totally okay and safe. Now, if you're in an indoor attraction, the lights on the attraction may turn on. Spoiler alert, you will likely get to see parts of rides that you've probably never seen and likely will never see again. So soak up that behind the scenes magic. It's like you're getting a behind the scenes tour totally for free in a way. And you know, you're stuck on a ride. Then you're gonna see those cast members come walking around. If they get to the point where they can't fix the ride and they gotta get you out, they may walk directly next to your vehicle or they may just be nearby. Typically they'll pass by as they're assessing the situation and determining how best to handle the evacuation. Again, if they pass by and say anything about the evacuation itself, be sure to pay close attention. Also be aware that at some point, the audio for the ride may turn off, which is super creepy, or other changes may take place. And then the evacuation process will begin. Typically, it will be done in sections or areas. Again, this all depends on the ride itself and what part of the ride you're stuck in. You might then walk through some backstage areas before being led out to an onstage area in the park. While in the backstage areas, which is behind the scenes for Disney, you will see signs indicating you're not allowed to take pictures or film. So be mindful of that when you see those signs and be sure to follow those rules from the cast members. So that's generally what you're gonna experience if you're evacuated from a ride. Now, later on, we're gonna talk about the kind of payback you can potentially get, especially if you've wasted a lot of your time in that ride evacuation. Okay, so rides and transportation are evacuated differently. It all depends on the complexity of the ride or the transportation mode or where you are. So sometimes it's real simple. If you're on a monorail when it's at the station, and it needs to be evacuated, you just get up and walk off, no problem. Or if you're in a show where you just need to get up and walk out, those are real, real easy evacuations, nothing to be worried about. 
Sometimes it's a bit more complicated though. This is especially true for water rides where you'll need to get from your seat to an elevated platform next to you like on Splash Mountain. The cast members in those cases may ask you to stand on your seat when it's your turn and then they'll assist you in transitioning from the ride itself to the platform. And then in the case of Splash Mountain, you may have to walk down a bajillion steps to get down to the loading area of the ride. Now they may also have a plank, something that is placed between your boat or ride vehicle and the platform you need to get to. Water ride depth in Disney World is usually between 18 inches and five feet. So even if you end up in the water, your biggest fear is just getting wet. So not too much stress on that account, but whatever you do, don't try to get out of the boat and get yourself out of the ride. Depending on where your boat is and where the platforms are, they may need to evacuate some guests first to then move your boat back to a place where you can safely be assisted to the platform. A cast member may even need to get into the water to help move boats around. So again, please be mindful of them and watch your surroundings. A Jungle Cruise boat halfway sank in 2020. All guests were evacuated and no big emergencies were reported. But if you find yourself in a situation like that, Stay calm and follow directions of cast members. Because if you start freaking out, you're just another issue that they have to deal with before they can solve the problem for everyone. And be aware, sometimes other individuals, including security personnel or even emergency personnel, like the fire or police department, may come to help. This is especially the case in the next situation where evacuation is really complicated. So these are circumstances where you are not in a place where you can just get out of the situation and walk to safety. Like when monorails are stuck in a place that can't be moved to a station and they're obviously many feet up off the ground. Or the situation that happened with the Skyliner in October of 2019 when due to an incident where Skyliners got backed up in a certain area, the system shut down and people were basically basically hanging in a giant Christmas decoration for three hours. Now in those situations, be sure to look for the emergency buttons that typically exist in some of the transportation vehicles. You may also find an emergency pack like those that were on the Skyliner underneath the seats. By the way, I have a joke later in the video about this that you might wanna stick around for, but if you've watched several of our videos, you know I'm not all that funny, so you can roll the dice. Now in those situations, you may need to be evacuated through a bucket truck, fire truck, or other method that's a bit trickier. Again, the key here is to stay calm Pay attention to the cast members. Are you getting that that's generally the key? Okay, great, we're on the same page. Now, what kind of compensation can you expect if you're evacuated? This is what we're all wanting to figure out, right? Okay, well, there's kind of three different levels here. Level one, it's no big deal. You have to get up and walk out of an attraction. If that happens and the evacuation is not a huge deal, you haven't been waiting for an hour. And the only major issue you have to deal with is that, oh, okay, you don't get to ride that ride or see that attraction or whatever. What happens in those circumstances? Usually you get a fast pass or an apology from a cast member. That's about all you can expect because those kinds of things happen all the time. Now, the second level of emergency or evacuation is that it's kind of a big deal. You have to be evacuated from a water ride or a coaster that has no easy unboarding process. That's probably gonna get you a fast pass or two. And then the third level is a super huge deal. Like you're on the Skyliner for three hours or you're on a monorail that you have to be evacuated from with a bucket truck. Those kind of situations, Disney may hand out a park ticket. They may hand out fast passes possibly even a gift card or an extra hotel night. But those types of situations rarely ever happen. But those are the kinds of things you can expect if you've been evacuated from a ride or an attraction or transportation. But remember, evacuations don't just happen on rides and transportation, they can happen in other places like hotels. Sometimes it's just a fire alarm that goes off by accident, but it's critical to treat things like an emergency as you don't know whether it's an accident or not. Now, if this happens at your hotel, just like when you were back at school, you'll exit the building and get to a safe location. Then you'll also need to remain outside until you are specifically told you can go back inside. This happened to me at the Boardwalk Resort. Just as I was putting my kiddo down for a nap, there was a fire alarm. So we had to exit the building and wait until we were told it was safe to go back in. This is usually not too big of a deal, but if it happens in the middle of the night, like it did the Pop Century a few months ago, well, it'd be really annoying. Now, all of this evacuation talk might have you thinking, how can I be prepared if this happens to me? Okay, first things first, don't panic. If a ride, hotel, etc., is being evacuated, the most important thing to do is chill out. Usually these are very minor situations, nobody gets hurt. 
so just listen to instructions and follow them. The cast members are there or will be there soon to help. Definitely don't panic and try to exit a ride yourself. Some of the rides must be evacuated in a very specific way. You could get hurt if you try to get out on your own or take matters into your own hands. Even if you think you can do it, if other people start following your lead, then everything descends into chaos and it becomes a much bigger issue than it was in the first place. So stay calm. You might be stuck, but it probably won't be for long. Next thing to do, follow instructions and warning signs. Listen to those cast members. Disney posts warning signs for a reason. Read them and heed them. Several incidents, including fatal ones, have happened in Disney World because guests had pre-existing conditions like heart disease that were exacerbated by attractions that had posted warning signs. So use your common sense. Just because you're in Disney World doesn't mean that you can completely ignore what's happening around you or that bad things can't happen. Be logical and rational. Keep your wits about you. Listen to those cast members, they've probably done this a million times, and some rides are very particular in the way that they must be evacuated, so be cautious. If you or a member of your traveling party needs extra assistance, definitely speak up. If you're sick or not feeling well, or someone in your party needs mobility help, let the cast member know that and they will make sure you get the help that you need. Also, be prepared. You might wanna think about bringing snacks, games, water, and a phone charger. We always say you should bring that stuff in your bag anyway, but this is an added reason why you might wanna have some stuff to keep your kids busy and keep yourself busy in case of some sort of extended emergency or evacuation situation. After the Skyliner incident, our team decided to figure out what we would pack in our emergency kits. In addition to the drinking water, whistle, light sticks, and those pee cups, we wanted an emergency iPad with unlimited YouTube access to keep our kids quiet, a lavender scented de-stress aromatherapy eye mask, earplugs, and vodka. So feel free to use those ideas. Now, if the resulting time loss from an emergency or evacuation causes you to miss another reservation, like dining or fast pass, bring it up to a guest services cast member. They will help by either rescheduling your dining reservation or ensuring you don't get charged for the missed reservation, or they may give you a fast pass to replace the missed ride, or if the issue is particularly egregious, they may issue a Pinocchio pass. Those are super special little magical pieces of paper where cast members can basically give you nearly anything they want, from a free souvenir or ice cream cone to fast fast passes, and more. And of course, if there's a true emergency situation that the cast members and others aren't able to fix, please call 911 and seek assistance. It likely shouldn't come to that, but it is something to keep in mind. And even if it doesn't feel like an emergency, but you're hurt or injured in some way, you should bring it up to a cast member or visit first aid immediately. So that's what you can expect when you're encountering the unexpected with Disney World rides and transportation. Actual injuries are extremely rare on Disney World rides, and when they do happen, like I said, they are often related to pre-existing conditions that guests have. So it's likely that if there is an emergency or evacuation while you're on a ride or on transportation, the most it will be is an inconvenience for you. But if you've experienced injuries or are hurt in any way, even if you think you'll be fine, it's always best to get checked out just in case. Also, note that due to the pandemic, some of Disney's procedures for evacuation may change. Now, if you want to see a video all about how many times certain rides in Disney World have been evacuated, we've got that video. You can watch that one next. It lists the top 10 rides by evacuation data so you can see which one you're most likely to be stuck on. Now, if you've had an interesting experience being evacuated from an attraction in Disney World, let us know your story in the comments. Thank you guys for listening and thanks for watching. As always, this is AJ for Disney Food Blog and we'll see you real soon.